Hello YouTube, I'm Jonah. Today's do it yourself, changing oil and filter in this Hyundai Sonata. So let's get started. Let's put the car on ramps, install our wheel chocks, both side of the tire. And I always put a little extra safety. So if you're new to my channel and you find my video interesting, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, comment and subscribe. That hood lock is just above the Hyundai sign, just to the right of it, right here. I don't know about you, but I always get a little annoyed trying to locate that little lever. Right here. First, I locate the dipstick. Then our oil cap right here. Notice the cap says 520 oil. Don't forget your PPEs, safety glasses, gloves, and latex. So underneath there's two sections. This section here and the section right here. So this is the cover we want to remove. It's right directly underneath the passenger side. And you can see the blue filter through this little peak hole. So there are seven screws that hold up this cover. I'll use the 10 millimeter socket to remove these screws. So here's our oil pan plug and we'll need a 17 millimeter socket for this. And over here is our oil filter. Now let's get that oil pan ready to catch all that dirty oil. Here's the 17 millimeter socket for the oil pan plug. Just give it a good crack to get it started. Then you can hand loosen it. So if you never changed oil before, there's a little trick to this. Slowly unscrew the plug. When you feel you're on your last thread, quickly move the plug away from the flow of the oil. This ensures less of a mess. And while the oil is still draining, you can start on the oil filter. So hand loosening the oil filter was no good. It was way too tight. And using my tool wasn't any good either. It kept on slipping. So here's a little trick I use. I take some duct tape and wrap the oil filter with it. This gives me a better grip for my tool to catch on. And there we go. Then we can go back to hand loosening it. This always gets a little bit messy. Then we give it a good cleaning. Then we'll take our new filter and take the new oil and rub it around the seal. Then install our new oil filter. and it should only be hand tightened. Yeah. 
and there you go. Then I clean and inspect my oil pan plug. Notice that silver aluminum washer. Still looks like in great condition, so I'm going to use it again and change it on my next oil change. And by this time, all the oil has drained from the pan, so we give it a good cleaning. And hand start the plug into the oil pan. And tighten it down with our 17 millimeter socket wrench. Nice and snug, don't over tighten. And there you go. Now we're ready with our 5W20 full synthetic oil, 4.73 liters. I usually fill 3 quarters way and then check the dipstick. The oil level should be between the two holes, the full and the low. Looks like it's still below the L, the low line. So add some more oil and check the dipstick again. Looking good, looks like it's between the two holes. Now we can put the dipstick back and the oil cap back on. And start our car. Start. And let it run for a few minutes. Then we check for leaks. Looking good, nice and dry. Now we put the cover back on. Once the car is off the ramps, you can check the oil again, since then you'll get an accurate reading when the car is now on a flat surface. So if you liked my video and found it interesting, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, comment and subscribe. Also hit the notification bell so you always get my latest video. Thanks for watching.